and I'm broken and I'm empty. Now to an interview you will only see on Fox 6. We are hearing from the wife of the man who died outside the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Milwaukee following an altercation with hotel security. Our Bria Jones joins us live now with more on this exclusive interview. Well, Steph, I did learn some new information tonight. The Hyatt says that employees involved in this incident have been suspended. I also had a chance to speak with Devontae Mitchell's wife and her attorney. Tonight, she wants him to be remembered as a loving father and husband. A warning. The video you're about to see may be disturbing for some viewers. Gut-wrenching video shows Devontae Mitchell's final moments. Stay down! He cries for help that left his wife, Deasia Harmon, in shambles. He begged for his life, and, and, and he shouldn't have had to do that. Milwaukee police say its homicide unit is investigating after 43-year-old Mitchell died Sunday outside the Hyatt Regency Hotel located downtown. Video shows what appears to be four hotel security officers trying to restrain Mitchell. He gave nobody a reason not to love him. He was a wonderful person. They didn't have to do him like that. And I just want everybody involved to be held accountable. Witnesses say before the altercation, Mitchell locked himself in the bathroom with a woman. Family says he struggled with mental illness. Even if he was in the wrong, even if he did something that he had no business, that was no reason to take his life. Right now, the case is not considered criminal. Harmon has retained attorney William Sultan. You're seeing them on top of his lungs, and they are literally killing him. Why do you think they haven't considered this a criminal case? Well, again, they are, are elevating certain lives over others. Hyatt says his third-party operator is taking action, releasing a statement saying in part, we understand Ainbridge Hospitality is conducting a thorough investigation and has suspended employees involved in the incident. A small step in the long walk for justice for Mitchell's family and children. You murdered him. He begged for his life. And for his daughter have to have to turn on the TV and see that? That's unacceptable. Mitchell's official cause of death has yet to be determined. Family says he will be late to rest sometime next week. Now reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, Fox 6 News. We'll keep following it, Bria, as more details continue coming out. Thank you. We know the mother of Devontae Mitchell has hired high-profile attorney Ben Crump as well. He released a statement saying today, in part, it is deeply troubling that we have lost another black man in an encounter with security personnel, raising serious concerns about the use of force, lack of accountability, and absence of mental health considerations.